welcome back to Robot Mechanics. In today's video guys, we will share some super helpful information with you guys. What we will do, we will actually share with you guys, does it matter the bolt sequence and how you remove your cylinder head and cylinder head gasket. You know there is a special sequence and torque specs when you install it, but most of the people guys, 9 out of 10 people will not know that. Okay, how you should remove your cylinder head, the sequence of the bolts and the procedures. Stay with us guys and we will cover that today. We are working on this 1.8 4 cylinder engine guys but it will be pretty much for any vehicle being that way guys. Any any vehicle uh, having a 3, 4, 6, 8 cylinder engine guys it does matter how you remove the cylinder head. Now this one as you know 4 cylinders most of the times they have 10 cylinder head bolts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bolts guys. Four cylinders have 10 bolts, uh, uh, six cylinders V6 engine guys, each head has three cylinders, it usually has eight bolts. Now doesn't matter guys how you remove it, now installing it, you know if you do not get it correctly, you don't use the special bolt sequence and torque specs, you're going to put uh, uh, not even amount of pressure on one side of the head, you can uh, damage your head, make it uneven or you can damage your gasket. But why it matters when you remove the head? Just the same thing guys. If you just start getting bolts, people who start getting bolts lose okay on this side and just go all the way to the right or the other way around. No, you can't do that. Why? Because when you get it loose on this side, it's too tight on this one and the head can deform. So how you guys do that? Okay, it's very important guys how we are going to do that. So let me show you now. I'm going to get guys a piece of paper here. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys the bolt sequence and how you should remove it. Make sure you stay until the end because the steps are very important. So we're going to do now guys first bolt number one, two, okay let me let me actually get the marker so you can see a little bit maybe a little bit better. Okay bolt one, bolt two, here then we have guys bolt three, four, then we have bolt five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So looking guys, okay, at the cylinder head now, the way we're going to start getting things loose, but stand till the end guys, you need to start with bolt one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see you go in a circular motion coming to the inside, the middle of the head. Now, how you guys do that? First step will be, okay, step number one guys, you need to guys go 90 degrees on each bolt, 90 degrees. So start removing bolt one guys, okay, and the rest of them, okay, let me grab that thing quick. And you're going to do guys 90 degrees on each bolt, so bolt number one, okay, 90 degrees is like this one, one quarter of revolution, so you take Bolt number one lose 90 degrees, then you go to bolts two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's step number two, guys? Okay, step number two, we need to go ahead and do guys 180 degrees. 180 degrees is guys. Okay, let me show you. This is half of a circle, half of a revolution. So if we start on the back side, okay, right here. You need to come all the way to the front. Okay, you can see like that. So bolt number one, you start doing 180 degrees, number two, 180, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get those loose guys and from that point on, it doesn't matter how you remove them. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to some of you. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time.